Great Council of Chiefs is an indigenous uh, institution that is, has been in existence even before the white people came to Fiji. We had our chiefs, we had our structure, and it was that structure that worked with the government to bring us to where we are today. And a few weeks back, unfortunately, Bani Marama has abolished that council. Now, two weeks ago, if you remember, Colonel Moses and Tiko Tonga has said publicly in the media that they have the Methodist Church squarely in their sights. So that's their next study. Now, imagine if they have abolished the Great Council of Chiefs, something that we hold dear to our hearts, then they get rid of the Methodist Church of Fiji, which arrived in Fiji in 1835. That was before anybody arrived in Fiji. And they had their first conference in 1836, which he cancelled in 2010. So what can, what can we say is happening here? We can say he is trying to get rid of everything Fiji. So if we are going to call a country Fiji, I think we won't have any tradition or culture to identify that Fiji. That all those concerns are in this letter. We'll hand this letter to the uh, government officials who are in this building. Uh, and then we'll make our way to Parliament House, where we will have speakers who will speak on the Great Council of Chiefs. Uh, Colonel Chonin Balentokotoka was a member of the Great Council of Chiefs. He was elected by the uh, son of Rentasiri, son of Rentasiri. He was a member of the council. He speak to us uh, on the role of the council, specifically what they do, especially for us Bush people, you know. We, we, we tend to want a lot from the government, and it was that council that voiced our concern and what we wanted across to the government of the day. So we'll be speaking on uh, the role of the council, and then we'll have a Talatala of the Methodist Church, who will also speak on uh, what the Methodist Church has done for the people of Fiji in the past 170 years. 170 years is almost Fiji's history. Imagine that. And they're targeting that uh, Kiko Tonga, Colonel Kiko Tonga has come out and said, we are going to get that Methodist Church uh, re-institutionalized. So we, I'm not quite sure what he meant by that, but I know we want to destroy everything. So, uh, we will go through In the mailbox, you mean? Uh, no, I can't. So, it's not hmm. uh, Nicole is a member of the uh, federal police who uh, organized all the things for us. So, we, that's the news for us. They will not accept our letter of concern. Not by name. And they'll, uh, they, they will accept it if it comes through the mail. So, what does it say to us?
When do we want it now? What do we want? Freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Freedom! When do we want it? Now!